Hey guys, so I got this on 527, um, 23. And then on 528, I was going to record it, but I went to church first. And in church, I got um, some more instructions about it. So this is over the last couple of days, and then this is the first time I've had to record. So let's do it. Um, the titles, the four titles are 1112, Rope Drop, The Music, All Will See, and Duck Tail. So the first one, 1112, Those Here Then. Hold on to me. The second one. Rope drop. My rope is about to drop. Now at this point, I got an image in my head of the rope and pulley system from the rope streams um, with the bucket and all of that stuff and where I was like taken off the stage. Um, in these dreams, there was an outdoor amphitheater and a rope with a pulley system and weights and a bucket attached to the underside of the steel roof. In the second one, there was a tape attached to that steel roof, and I was told, you are about to be repelled up, but you must stay with me for a while in my presence. So the rope drop, when I see that image, represents me being translated. Julie is about to come up. Some in her family do not yet believe this will occur in the human sense of soon. They keenly notice that with other prophecies over time, that have had the word soon in it, and then much earth time, human time, passes. I have planned and prepared for her family, those that are still skeptical, and many other families who have people who feel the same way. I have planned for this. Don't talk about it with them. As it all unfolds, they will quickly understand because I will bring them to knowing. Have peace, I have it in my hand. Some wonder how soon moments are or how long is around the corner. Um, how long is sooner than you think? I have laid out a plan. At this point, I got the understanding that all the things that I have already put out, those have the plans in them. You wait and watch it unfold and you will know the chaos. It will be widespread. Do not take part in the chaos. Just pray and I will protect and use you. It will all come to pass. The third one, the music. At this point I saw um, the picture of shoes dancing in the last, video I, the last video I made called 10 Important Things when God was talking about wanting to dance with us and that we have to stay in step with the spirit, okay? So then I heard this, the music. They don't pay much attention to the music. Only those listening notice when it changes. Then I had a vision and it was a scene of like a band outdoors at like a small town kind of, um, you know, movie-esque where like all the town's there and everyone knows each other and they're all like socializing, kind of like an outdoor street fair or party or something. So the band kept changing styles and types of music and no one noticed. They were completely ignoring it and there was something busy going on right in front of the band. Um, and I was trying to see through all of this to see and, and pay attention to the music. So then I heard, the Holy Spirit is the music. You have to stay dialed into the music and not distracted to hear the music and then adjust when it changes. After I compiled all of this to record, um, in sitting in church, I was urged to add these three other dance related things that I have gotten in the past. Some have been recorded, some have not. So 321-23, I had a short dream about a gracious young woman in a small traditional church. Um, they preached the Bible and they had hymns and she was of the age to be more attracted to a seeker friendly church with a band. The young woman kept her attendance there a secret from her friends and family, somewhat out of embarrassment because she thought that she should be going to a more um, seeker friendly church. But when I found out, I was very proud of her for going for she was seeking truth, even if it was at the cost of comfort, because it is more comfortable to be in the seeker friendly churches. I was drawn to notice her sparkly peekaboo wedges. And then I said to her in the dream, you need jazz shoes like your sister, so you can move with the spirit. The Lord clarified upon awakening that the traditional church loves him very much. Often, they do not share him with others. Also, that they need jazz shoes to keep up with the spirit, implying that they are not in step 
with the Spirit. Back in November 2020, I was given a charming word puzzle. Thanks, I love my hair, Fred Astaire. I had to pray over this one a bit, but then a few days later, our pastor, he dropped a Fred Astaire mention in his sermon, and then he started singing the number one hit song in 1936 that included Heaven, I'm in Heaven. And then the Lord pointed all of this out to me. Thanks is what a showman would say just before exiting the stage. So this reminded me of being raptured off the stage dream, which is a completely different dream than the bucket dream and rope dream. I love my hair represents not being shamed. Baldness in the Bible um, represents slavery and being in shame. Fred Astaire represents those not in shame but are raptured or taken to heaven. I also had another dance-related phrase given this spring. Soon, we will all dance away. And upon waking, I knew it was referring to the rapture. With those added elements and then re-examining the words from 523 regarding dancers and their need for flexibility and the need to stay in step with the Spirit and how God wants to dance with you, but you have to keep pace with the music and the music is about to change. Well, then I noticed this one I just received on 527 where I was trying to hear the music and there was chaos going on. And then I heard, and then I heard they don't pay attention to the music, which is a very strong lesson in staying in step with the spirit because that flexibility is needed for you to be able to dance away to be raptured, to be taken, to be translated, whichever your position is, you have to stay in step with the Spirit for that to occur. Being focused on Christ through the Holy Spirit and listening and keeping up will keep you out of harm and safely rapture ready. The fourth one, all will see. There is a general. I have one who will be used for and by me against him. All will see God is mighty. God is God and there is no other. People will see that I choose who I wish. And then I got the impression at the end of this that whoever is going to be used against this general is very meek. Okay, the fifth one is ducktail. And you got to hang on with this one because when I was writing it out, I was like, where is this going? <laughs> I, at first I was like, eh, okay, I won't keep writing, but where is this going? So hang on to it. Ducktail. The bossy duck. He backs into the water. He is clueless about the war or who is to win the war. In his selfishness, all he notices is what he wants. Will he be untouched by the war? Will he have complications in the water? The duck wears an inner tube. Clearly, the duck has no need for an inner tube. He should be able to swim. But this selfish duck wears an inner tube. As this duck backs into the pond in his inner tube, how are his odds drifting in a lake while the war rages around him? What are his survival averages drifting in a lake? The duck may do well at first. In the chaos of war, the soldiers may not take notice of the selfish duck. At some point, this drifting duck in an inner tube Will he be a target by one side or another? If he never becomes a target, he may catch crossfire. Certainly, the selfish duck will at some point be vulnerable to being hit. What the selfish duck cannot see is that the two sides of the war are on either side of the lake. He is so unaware of the war that he does not notice that by being selfish and by floating in the lake, as he drifts into the center of the lake, he is not only a sitting duck without any armor or weapons, but he has no me to help him. Also, he does not see this makes him more vulnerable. If he were surrounded by 100 other ducks, he would not be so easy to notice. But because of his isolation, he has no protection and no alliances. What will become of this duck? The duck denies to use his innate ability to swim and the ability to duck down into the water which could hide him from crossfire or aim. What is this duck thinking? 
what will happen to this duck? Will he be a lucky duck? Or will he come out unscathed? Or will he catch accidental fire? Or will he be a target by a sadistic warrior? The odds for survival of this selfish duck are not high. Could he make it? He could. In his lack of awareness, he may not do so well. The selfish duck and his ridiculous choices are like the selfish person without God. They are not in the war. But because they are not on either side, just their own side, but they also have no support from a side like those without Christian friends who can pray. The selfish man, can he make it? For a time, he can appear to be fine, floating along in the middle of a lake. He refuses to wear the Lord's armor. He refuses his natural innate skill of being drawn to the Lord by praying or learning to war in the spirit. Could he change? Yes. Do not be like the sitting duck. A sitting target unaware there is a war, relying on self, isolated from help, not being properly fit with armor. The odds are high that after a lovely drift, it ends poorly. Choose a side. Choose me. Get in the fight. My armor does not fail. I assure you, those who are unaware of the spiritual fight will soon be able no longer to avoid that there is a fight. Soon, the dark army will rise and go after every sitting duck and take them over. The darkness comes on the earth and has already started. It will grow to the point that no soul on earth will be untouched. I will have mercy on mine. Those who fight will leave this earth in their right time. But those who are selfish and unaware will be left for when the full darkness runs the world and they will overtake every soul on earth. Choose me before it's too late. Choose the Lord God Almighty. Your selfishness leads you to being a target. So easy to hit like a sitting duck floating in an inner tube in the middle of a lake. Come to me through my son, Jesus Christ, the one and only Messiah. I hope this has been an encouragement and I'll see you next time.